Um, what else did I watch? Oh, Tony Khan's done a promo. What in the wide world of sports was that? It's on. Is it under YouTube show? It was on, I believe, the new one with Paul White hosting with Shivani. I think it's Dark Elevation. And it, they must be high. <laughs> um, and they, it's it's Twinkle Toes and Matt Seidel have done something. And then here comes Tony Khan out on stage looking like a disheveled, coked up school teacher who's at his wits end about his unruly class and said a lot of words in a short period of time, including the phrase nine days from tonight about 16 times and made a match. So now he's the on-camera commissioner. Is this, I guess where this is going? Well, they're saying that it's a one-time thing. <laughs> Possibly due to how the one-time thing turned out. And some of the people who are defending it are saying, well, it wasn't on TV, it was on their YouTube show. But boy, was that embarrassing. I've heard people compare it to Herb Abrams. I actually thought he sounded... Herb Abrams sounded more grown up. He sounded like a frantic Todd Gordon. You know? Yes. Except, except Todd Gordon at least looked professional. Todd Gordon yes. didn't come out there looking like a slob. Kenny, I'll tell you something. You broke the shit. Ah, Kenny. Ah. Oh, my God. And everyone's afraid to tell him this is a bad idea. Don't do this. I thought they'd already told him that. Well, I thought his, his statement was he was never going to be an on-air person. Right. And then they excused it with impact, which, of course, won me a bet not too long ago where I said he would be on air by the end of the year. And he was. But they said, well, that's Impact, and it's a paid commercial, it's a different promotion, but I, I still got the victory because he was an on-air character. Now he's on-air in this role on AEW, and boy, it'd be one thing, too, if he was still dressed in a suit trying to pretend like he's professional with his little skinny tie and everything. But he was having a nervous breakdown. I mean, it, 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 was, it was like... A fan had gotten the opportunity to do what he had always dreamed of doing on national television, and he freaked out and was having a nervous breakdown trying to do it. That is what it looked like. Oh, did I just describe what it was? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't... It, Please, Dixie Carter was a better TV character than Tony. To some people just don't need to be on television. He's Gordon Scazzari with better social skills. I well, that's that's like being the nicest guy in prison. And a bunch of people again. Hey, folks, you got to keep up on your obscure wrestling trivia if you want to be in with the the in folks in the cult of Cornet. Uh, how did Gordon Scazzari end up committed to a mental institution? That's right. Okay. Good luck, Tony.